time to focus on nuclear power, big tech's latest obsession. Jason Britton's with us, President, CIO, Reflection Asset Management. Paul Powers, CEO at FISNA. Thank you both for being here. You know, a lot of talk about nuclear. It was it used to be a taboo word. Now it's back in a big way. Um, is it the right way? What do you think is happening here? So I think it's interesting, Nicole, to think about how some of the players, especially Microsoft and Amazon, are looking at this somewhat differently. Right. So Microsoft is looking at this in the large scale, re, you know, reinvigorating Three Mile Island or parts thereof, the large project a lot of folks remember from the 70s, where a lot of the other things around nuclear are on SMRs, the small module reactors. So they're talking about smaller facilities, still big power production for the footprint, um, but something that really is, is unique and we haven't seen before. So it, it's a yes and, in my opinion. Hmm, understood. Uh, Jason, let me just follow up with that because there's been so much talk about how to do this. You, you know, we think about the big companies that are building their own reactors, right? You think about Google and Amazon and some of these names that are, are moving forward. I mean, is this the wave of the future? How fast can this all happen? So that's a great point, right? There, just because nuclear power has been around for a really long time and it does tend to be cleaner, it does tend to have, you know, zero carbon emissions, uh, it still takes a significant amount of time, even if you're building a smaller facility, to bring something online. I think most of the estimates are 2030 to 2035. What you're really seeing is the pressure that these big tech names have put themselves under by not only creating this enormous demand based on the need for computing power, but then also all of their green energy pledges, right? All of those we intend to be carbon neutral or net you know, zero by 2030. And it's really those two events butting heads that I think is making them look at nuclear power so seriously. A lot of folks are, are looking to invest in nuclear power. They think it's uh, the way to go with so much happening, all these big companies investing, data centers and the like. Um, are there headwinds here, Paul, that you're you know, focusing on or what could be in the way of this? Uh, there are definitely going to be regulatory headwinds that you're going to run into in, in this process, right? But I think that that's something that can be fairly evil, easily over, um, overcome. And, and I think we can achieve a really reliable, efficient, and powerful source of energy production by investing in nuclear. The problem with the other methods isn't so much that they're, um, it's not that nuclear is, it's not just the nuclear is cleaner, it's also that it's more powerful, it's more efficient than a lot of the other, um, you know, uh, power sources that we have at the moment. And so I think that we're going to find that this is almost a sort of an inevitable uh, bit of the evolution that we're going to see in the future with more and more AI consumption and uh, the GPUs driving a lot more de energy demand. Yeah, I know you're very, con you want to stress the importance of ensuring the extreme safety that's needed um, with all of this and how it all get plays out. Um, that is a concern, right? Uh, as we think about that, Jason? Absolutely. I mean, you have two kinds of concerns there, right? One is the actual physical security of the plant itself from, you know, tamper and potential acts of terrorism. And then the other is just the, the, the clean and efficient running of the facility and making sure that you are properly disposing of and storing the waste. I think both of those things are always going to be in the mind of every town council and every group that approves a permit. Um, I think they're going to be easier to get around when we're not doing it at utility size scale, like a lot of the other ones. As I said, we're talking about SMRs. So to Paul's point, big output, small footprint. And there's another piece to this that I think that's worth mentioning, and that's when you start talking about wind and solar, you're talking about the need for storage, right? Because those things are not as reliable or consistent power sources. So you're talking about batteries. And you talk about batteries, you're gonna talk about mining and rare earth metals. The nuclear side of the equation reduces that demand uh, significantly, and I think is actually good for national security interests in the United States, considering where most of those rare earth metals come from. Right. Look, Constellation's up, but Constellation, Aklo are each up over 100 percent. Vistra's up 235 percent this year. Um, the group has been doing incredibly well. Do you both, you know, thumbs up. You think they'll continue to do well here? Anybody? Just a thumbs up or down if, you, if you're so. interested, yep. you know, you think you're, you think yeah. so, huh? Okay. I, All right, I think Jason Britton, well. Paul Powers, thank you both very, very much. I just wanted to get some of those names in there, too. Really appreciate it. Good to see you both.